We're incubating entrepreneurs. Um, so we're looking for, um, you know, uh, just basically young uh, youth right now that is interested in entrepreneurship and they want to be able to understand how to really, they have an idea, um, maybe they've gotten started at their very early stage, but they want to learn how to really now kind of seed, go from seed to scale, um, how to actually build the right marketing plan, business plan, um, you know, have a network of advisors and mentors, resources that can help them get to the next level. And then at that point in time, um, we can introduce them to the right investors. And what's it called for everybody in the audience? Maybe they want to. Um, it's called Founders, with the but spelt with own in the middle of it. So F O W N D E R S. Very cool. Um, what have you seen so far in the very like early days of Founders? So uh, we just launched um, this month, and uh, it's you know really exciting. I've had so many young entrepreneurs and young startups that are you know local you know that are that have been coming in and um a lot of students we were doing a lot of work with Rutgers University and JIT in the area you're starting to see like this whole area change the universities are are, are really um in, you know make you know uh buying the land and and you're seeing a lot of change in the community and the community's embracing it and you know if i had something like this and we're noticing a lot of this in the local community with with the students you know, they have a passion for entrepreneurship, you know, but they don't necessarily, they, they don't really have all the resources. The schools are, are giving a lot of the resources, but they want to be able to also be able to uh, be in an environment like this where they're rubbing shoulders with other entrepreneurs that are like-minded, other mentors and founders. And um, so, you know, it's been really exciting because they've all embraced it. And if I would have had something like this growing up, maybe I wouldn't have dropped out. And for me, it's important. Education is very important. So for me, if, if I can help a lot of those, the local community, be able to help them get educated while still pursuing their entrepreneurial passion, um, that's, that's the goal. Why, you say education is really important to you. How, how do you square that away with dropping out to like be an entrepreneur and found a company? Why, how do they fit together? You know, I, I do think that, you know, you do gain a lot from it. I do think that I, for me, it's, it's, I don't, I dropped out. So I have a lot of students that have started coming in and saying, hey, you know, for me, I, I feel like, you know, it's not for me. And, I'm, I'm, and that's totally okay. You have to go with what, what you feel is the right path for you. It's different for everybody. Um, but I think that the real change that needs to happen is we need to, not separate the two, but work together with the universities and help them figure out how can we solve the issue with you know, the debt crisis? How can we solve a lot of these issues? How can we bring entrepreneurship and bring and partner up with these universities you know, and help make real change in, in, this, in the system? Because I feel the system is broken. Um, so for me, it's, you know, I, I want to be able to work with these universities. And they have a lot of resources. You could build a, a huge network within, with, with these schools as well. So 